Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Today's recipe is inspired by a very popular YouTube chef called Nick Di Giovanni, who also, as it turns out, was a finalist on MasterChef. Yup, he made these delicious Alfredo chicken wings, and I thought to myself, I've made chicken Alfredo and I love it. I've made chicken wings, so many different kinds. So how did I not think to put the two together? Anyway, today I'm going to make a keto version of Alfredo chicken wings and I can't wait to make them. I'm super excited. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. I'm going to start by prepping my chicken wings. First, I will remove that little wing tip and I'll save it for making chicken stock. Then I will separate the drum from the flat and you can keep the whole wing intact if you like but it's really better to separate it for faster cooking and easier eating. Now I'm going to put my wings into a bowl and season it generously with salt because I want to dry brine these wings and trust me there is a method to this madness. So after you season the wings give them a good mix so they are evenly coated. I'm going to air dry these wings in the fridge overnight so I'm just going to line them up on a plate. You can also use a wire rack or something and you don't have to do this but I believe it will help remove some of the moisture and give us a crisper wing. Anyway, I'm going to pop it into my fridge for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, take a good look at those wings. You can see they've been dried out a bit, the skin looks a bit translucent. Now I'm just going to leave them to come to room temperature before I cook them. So I'm going to preheat my oven to 220 degrees celsius or 450 fahrenheit. I will be using my roasting tray with a wire rack to cook these wings. So I'm just going to lay down those wings on the wire rack. And while I didn't do this myself, I realized later if I had given these wings a wee coating of olive oil, it would have gotten even crisper. Anyway, lay down those wings in the tray and then pop them into the oven to cook for about 25 to 30 minutes or till they are fully done. While the wings are baking, I'm just going to chop up some spring onion greens because I don't have chives available. So if you have chives, you can use those but a spring onion green works fine as well. I'm also going to take some parsley and chop it up nice and fine. Time to make our Alfredo sauce and I'm going to get my pan on the stove and add in about 30 grams of butter and then just let that butter melt and to that I will add a generous amount of minced garlic and now you just want to fry that garlic and your kitchen will be filled with the smell of garlic and butter. Once the garlic is starting to turn golden brown I'm going to add in some cheese and some heavy whipping cream. And then turn the heat down and give it all a good mix. And everything is going to come together and create a delicious Alfredo sauce. Now full disclosure, you're supposed to use Parmesan cheese. But since I didn't have any, I used Emmental. Time to season the sauce with some salt. I'm also going to add in some white pepper and that finely chopped parsley. And give it one final good mix and take it off the heat. It's time to get those wings out of the oven because they are done and ready and they look so good. A well cooked bird is a sight to behold. Though this isn't a full bird, it's just bird parts. Anyway, time to get out my mixing bowl and add in those wings. And now spoon over some of that thick and delicious Alfredo sauce. And now you got to give it a good toss up like they do in the restaurants. You got to work that bowl with your wrists. This takes some practice which I did not have so I said fork it and I used my spoon and mixed everything together. And you want to make sure that each wing is beautifully coated with that beautiful sauce. And finally I will finish these wings with those spring onion greens and you will give it one final 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 good mix. And now check out those wings baby. Oh yeah! Now just plate up those wings in a fancy plate for the photographs. Oh wait, you guys aren't going to do any of that. So you can just dig into those wings but I've got photos to shoot. So I plate my wings and man oh man, do those look delicious or what? Anyway enough jibber jabber, time to taste.
All right, folks, it's time to taste the chicken wings. And normally I do get my wife or my dad to taste test these things. But today I can't wait for either of them because these wings look so damn delicious. And I'm just going to dig in. Oh, wow. That is garlicky, buttery, cheesy, creamy. I mean, it is like, it is rich and it is delicious. And I mean, the smell, the garlic smell. Mm. And the meat is tender. Mm. Wow, this is so good. I could eat wheat. I could eat these wings all day, every day. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. I'm going to go and finish these wings and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. In my case, I'm going to lick my fingers. It's finger licking good. Oh yeah. And that's my wife's hand stealing wings. Hey folks, I've got a question for you. What is your favorite part of the chicken wing? The flat or the drum? Let me know in the comments below. And if you love chicken wings, click here and watch another wing recipe. Or click here and watch something else. But basically keep watching Headbangers Kitchen.